Sean Sewell with ingearment.com in our beautiful mountains of Colorado doing some rooftop tent camping. In particular, we're using the Thule Approach Large three to four person all season rooftop tent. This guy right here. Oh my goodness. This thing's been blowing my mind. There are so many features going on in here. I'm gonna do my best to cover them all in this video review. It's good. I just, I can save you 10 minutes. It's really, really good. But you wanna know why and how to use it and all that, then stay tuned. So what this is, this is a folding soft-sided three to four person tent. Depends on what you, you call a person. I think three full-size adults myself is, I'm six foot one, my wife is full-size, our dog is full-size. There's it's a palace for the three of us. Um, if we had a kid with us, they'd fit in there really well and I'll show you that layout here when we go inside the tent. I'm airing out from last night. We did not get any condensation, which is crazy because there was almost no wind last night. My dog, Chloe and I, um, pretty easy to set up. Let's talk about the setup first. You're going to get a box about a hundred and in this case, 170 pound box and the box will be the tent, all the equipment. And it's going to be very confusing at first. There's not a lot of English words being used, just a lot of pictures. And so, uh, fortunately I have a lot of experience putting rooftop tents together. Maybe you don't. So I'd watch the YouTube videos on how the installation goes and how it works to be better familiar with it so you don't uh, spend a whole afternoon being frustrated. It took me about half an hour from box to roof to being able to use. That's, that's probably pushing it as far as installation time. But there's some features I'm going to really give a shout out to Thule because they nailed it with this. One, the hardware they send over to use is exceptional. Look at that. This is a half inch where you can use your socket to get it tight, but you don't have to get it all the way tight. You can use the provided um, four newton meter torque wrench, which is incredible. So you get four sets of those. They look really, really good. They're nice and stable. They're not metal on metal. It's not a wing nut you have to tighten with your hand. Uh, you're not busting your knuckles. You can just start, use your socket set half inch. When you get to where it's tight, use the provided Allen or um, torque wrench and then you get one click and then you're good to go. I'll put a picture of that torque wrench below. It's really well built. Over here is another feature I wish other ones would do. That is a locking set. There's lock one and lock two. So now you can completely secure your tent to your truck or vehicle and not to worry about somebody stealing it. I'd, I've never seen anybody steal one, but you know, this could be doable. Uh, the mounting system is really easy. You, you simply slide these guys on. No need to try and slide them on from the very end. In fact, there's a cap on the very end, so not even an option. You simply put it in and then you rotate it and then you slide it. It's really easy to use. Uh, materials are really well made. This is the width of the tent right here. So from the far side, the passenger side to here is that width. So it just doubles the size. And then the ladder is part of the structure. So keep that in mind. You want to properly line the ladder. You don't want it to come shooting off at this kind of angle, 45. They want 75. I don't have my protractor with me, but I'm pretty sure that's around 75 degrees. Well, I got you on the outside. We got 600 denier material, very robust. I did not use the Rainfly last night. In fact, I found the Rainfly installation to be a bit of a pain in the ass, to be totally honest. And I'll talk about that in a second, but the material is water resistant, very breathable, and you get four skylights. I have two open at the moment, as well as one window open, so just so you can see. There it is. And there's the other open awning right there, or skylight, I should say. And yeah, I, I kept them open last night, or at least for part of the night, and we had part of the persided, persided meteor shower. So that was an absolute joy to get to watch that from the comfort of our tent. That's pretty nice. And then at like 1 a.m. I was like, all right, it's getting in the 30s. So I'm gonna zip this guy closed. And then I closed him up all the way, all night long, to about 6.30 or so when I got up this morning and no condensation. That's incredible, that's incredible. Okay, we've talked about the installation process. Anticipate half hour to an hour to install out of the box to up there. Um, and then part two is there's a nice thick, PU coated Cordura black cover that goes over this whole tent. 
and I'll show you a picture of that below in a second. So you get to camp, everything's packed up, that black cordura covers on it. You simply grab the zipper and walk the perimeter of the tent, and then you completely remove that black cloth, which I have in the truck with my dog Chloe, she's sleeping right now. And then you simply grab the ladder, as it's folded up, the ladder will be on top, grab the ladder, extend it out, and then pull the tent out, and then push the ladder back up. See how we have uh, one, two rungs compressed together. We've, I found that to be a really good indicator of where to keep the ladder so that the tent is flat, supported, and living its best life. All right, you've come this far. We talked about the tent from the outside. Let's go in the tent. This is the fun part, guys. All right, up the ladder we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Now we are in the tent. So as you can see, it's got a lot of space. This is a two-person, long, wide sleeping bag. Two of them, actually, a quilt and a bag. And you can see right there, there's enough space for at least another 20-inch wide, maybe 25-inch wide sleeping pad. This is the Rainfly. And if I wanted to make it look pretty in here, I would have taken it off. But I just want to show you the clear windows, uh, you know, so you can see out at night and you have a Rainfly. And... Um, it's kind of tricky to attach. It frustrated me, so I took it off. But fortunately, we did not encounter any rain. I will be putting it back on um, before heading out. But I also wanted to show you the difference between there is the mesh and the 600 denier Oxford zipped up, and there is the 600 Oxford rolled back with just the mesh. So you can get these nice, beautiful skylights, and there is uh, the other window right there. Yeah, we got a good camping spot next to a creek. Um, so we kept the mosquitoes at bay. Right there will be a pocket. Great place for headlamps, cell phone, cell phone charger. There's another pocket right there. So you get two easy to access pockets. The mattress, I was actually pleasantly surprised. This is just a two inch mattress, nothing crazy about it. Um, the last three or four years I've been really spoiled because we've been using X-Bed Mega Mats, which are four inches thick, on top of these two inch mattresses just one to put, help us camp in much colder temperatures like, you know, down below zero degrees Fahrenheit and stuff like that. But also it makes it pretty comfortable to be on six inches. I mean, that's like, that's a full on bed. But I was surprised that this two inch mattress did so well for us last night. We slept so good. It was so comfortable and we had so much space. It's just my dog, Chloe and I. But my wife, dog and I can fit in here. Look at this. This is a whole nother area. You can put two dogs or a kid. It is, it is six feet wide from side to side. However, you know, I'm six foot one, so I was touching. So I, I was not able to sleep side to side or from this side to this side in this tent. But if you're under six foot, you could pile people up here, put up four, maybe five people in a row up here. It's that big. It is the biggest rooftop tent I've ever been in. And it's just really attractive. What I really like too is the color. Um, as the sun was coming up over those mountains right there, the tent kind of had an amber kind of glow to it. It wasn't red like MSR, it wasn't, you know, green like Black Diamond, it wasn't uh, off gray like some rooftop tents, like the Roof Nest and the, the Free Spirit. It was like a really organic amber color, as you see right here. It's really quite attractive. So, like I started saying, you have four of these skylights, you have two of these window doors, and the mesh backers. And it's just a real, real nice setup. My dog, Chloe, usually is in the video, but she was chasing, not chasing, pursuing a deer earlier this morning, so she's a little tired. And these chipmunks keep taking her dog food. So otherwise she'd be in the video. Well, I'm, she's super cute. But uh, there it is. It is incredible. I'm really infatuated with it. Yeah, there's one of those chipmunks stealing her food right there. That's fine, got plenty to share. Okay, here's something um, that rooftop tenor campers will really appreciate. So I always determine which side to put a ladder on. The, I put it on the driver's side here because we have uh, a very nice 270 degree awning right there. The Yakima Major Shady. Love that thing. I have never in four years of rooftop tent camping been able to do what I'm about to show you. Now, if you know, you know. Ladder door door fully open 
on the side of the ladder. That's a game changer right there. And to add to the game changer, it is fully protected from the elements. Look at that. I can have my tent set up, not have to move the ladder out of the way to access that stuff with gear we're reviewing right now, some Mr. Ranch stuff and other stuff. But usually I would sit right here and edit these videos in a storm and I have to move this and I'm getting wet. Even my awning on the other side doesn't provide protection when it's close to the vehicle. See, there's a big gap right there. So this is now <laughs> going to be my office for next X amount of time. That, it's the little things like that, you know, just game changers. They thought a lot, a lot of things at Thule, all the way down to the hardware, the best mounting hardware I've ever seen. Easy to set up, pretty intuitive instructions, They're very comfortable, four skylights, and you better believe it, I'm gonna have a follow-up review once we are covered in snow. The Thule website says this is an all-season tent. REI says it's, it's a three-season tent. I intend to find out if it can handle winter in Colorado because that's what I do. We're actually camped at the base of Sean's Run. That's where we go splitboarding. So this tent is gonna see a lot of use all, obviously all rest of this summer, but going into winter, we're gonna push the heck out of its abilities to see how it handles wind, wind with the rain fly on, wind with the, the Oxford material, snow, how much snow can it take? Does it penetrate? Will it collapse? All those things. So, so stay tuned for part two of the review. But this part one, let me summarize it by saying, this is the nicest rooftop tent we have used yet. Um, I honestly was not excited to try a soft-sided fold-out rooftop tent because I assumed they'd be hard to set up. I assumed they would be full of condensation. I assumed they'd be hard to take down. Um, I can tell you it was pretty easy to set up. I think I got it in about five minutes once I my second time doing it. I got it up in five minutes, no problem. And that's what's getting the ladder just right with the angle. Uh, take down about five minutes as well is what I budget. I'm, they say three minutes. I'm sure somebody who's proficient can get it done in three minutes. And then the condensation. It was super easy to manage. I actually did not have any condensation. And oftentimes in rooftop tents, especially when you have more than one person or more than one animal up there, there's a lot of carbon dioxide being expelled. It's easy to get condensation. We did not have any. So all I did to do that to mitigate that is I had the door at our feet unzipped. I had the outer material zipped down about halfway. So I had a little bit of flapping here or there in the night, but it wasn't as much as you're seeing right there. And then I think that was it. I think that was all we had going. It's just a big tent. It's hard to fill it with air, I guess. So hopefully seeing this video on how it looks, how the size large is in real life in comparison to a six foot one, 215 pound person. I wish my dog would have came out and shown you what it looks like with her. But here it is, it's a beautiful, beautiful tent. And like I said, we're camping at the base of where we go splitboarding, so we will have a lot more coverage on this tent here in the future. Yeah, there's Sean's run right there. It's a really cool area. Um, price point, I think for the large is 32 or 3300. It's right in line with other rooftop tent companies. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, use this in other parts of the country the rest of the summer and this fall, so stay tuned for content on our social media channels about that. We'll have part two in the winter when we get a chance to use it in the snow, so stay tuned for that. And if you get any questions about it, put those in the comments below. I'll get right back to you if that's a question I can answer. If you have experience with your approach, small, medium, or large, share it with our audience. We'd love to know what you're up to, how you've used it, and any observations or any tips and tricks on how to use it best. It'd be very helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, and I, I'm pretty sure you do, consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel link below. Next weekend, we will be covering the uh, Overland show here in Colorado. So we'll have dozens and dozens of interviews with Overland and rooftop tent companies. So you, you'll want to see that. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke for Engagement.com. Until next time, take care.